You gonna bring some ramen? I can do that. I'll see you in a bit. Ladies. The stuff in a packet is far different from the stuff that you make. Right. Um, what's the difference between, say, spaghetti and a ramen noodle? The thing that makes a ramen noodle a ramen noodle is kansui, which is, a, which is an alkali. And so when we say alkali, it means that there is a, something in the noodles that makes them alkaline. It could be kansui solution, it could be like baking soda, I've seen right. people do things like that. It gives it the springiness, it gives it a little more of a slurpability, and it gives it a little bit of an aroma that differentiates it from a different noodle. Got it. You mentioned a, a ramen boom in Japan where uh, it, it went from kind of like a blue collar street food, my image is like subway station food, uh, to something that people are going kind of gaga for. Uh, do you think that is happening in the United States? If so, why? Well, you know, I think there's a street food boom around the world. People have grown a little bit weary of the white tablecloth dining and formality and ramen is a very nice fit for that. It's messy, it's noisy. You know, to eat it properly, you need to slurp. It splashes on your eyeglasses. It's just something that's impossible to do in an elegant way. And that's and, fun. And that's fun. Instant ramen is, was, is really successful instant food. And when they say flavor packet, they really mean like flavor WMD because right. this thing is is huge. You know, in the packet is just, you know, MSG and flavoring and soup base. There's a lot of people that have gotten really creative with these things where they, you know, they put, put an egg on top, they saute up some, some pork and some veggies and pour it on top and all of a sudden you have actually a decent bowl of food for not that much money and it's, and sometimes a thing of instant ramen with some sauteed veggies on top probably tastes darn good. Heck yeah. I'd like to make something for you. Cool. I'd love to see what you're going to come up with. To the kitchen. Cool. When we were talking about the sort of elasticity and the texture of the noodles, I was thinking that maybe we could use them in lieu of masa in a tamale. Cup of water, I'll add a little bit of butter. Now you can see it's a significantly chunkier texture. My favorite filling, cheese. Use the plastic wrap to kind of roll it over itself. We're just making tamales out of rum. And then flip it over into the pouch. And now it's time to steam these guys. I'm pretty excited about it. So while those are steaming, let's do something else. Let's make a little popcorn. And a little trick I uh, learned from one of my friends. Throw one in there. When it starts to sizzle, we'll uh, know when it's time to add the rest. Let's see, over here in my little pot, add, I don't know, two tablespoons of butter, and then let's add our little flavor packet. Now there's plenty of salt in this already, so uh, we shouldn't have to salt the popcorn. Swirl that around, let that melt down. I always like to test myself and see how many kernels I didn't pop. Come on, I had one burned popcorn and popped every single kernel. Oh boy, look at that goodness. Ramen popcorn. So let's see how this worked out. I'm a little nervous. Look at that. That's a tamale. But a noodle tamale. A good tamale is kind of like an exercise in physics. It's just about ready to fall apart, but it's also just about ready to stay together. Reminds me of my childhood. I'll be, look at that. Ramen tamales. And some popcorn. It's kind of fun. I mean, you should have corn here. You should have soup there. Swap it all out. I wonder if Ivan will like it. You want to try this out, man? Absolutely. Brace yourself. Pretty wild how similar the texture is, huh? Yeah, it does actually taste like a tamale. Yeah. Is this something, this creation, something that you would serve at your restaurants? Never. Never. <laughs> Fair enough. Popcorn? Well, there you go. I have to try the popcorn too. This may be my next, uh, my next trick for uh, movie night with the kids. Oh yeah. I'm kind of excited about it. I really actually want to. I want to sell these on the subway. You know, uh -huh. Tamales, tamales. <laughs> Ivan, thanks so much for coming hey. by. Yeah, that was fun.